Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we will be discussing the latest updates on TCS NQT 2025, their interview results, offer letters and onboarding status. Everything I will be covering because uh, there was a lot of DMs I was getting on this, like, you know, on the updates of TCS NQT. So I thought it will be good to have one just single video and try to cover all the latest updates, whatever is there till now. Okay. So guys, before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful off-campus drives updates as well as hiring updates on my channel on a daily basis. And guys, for those of you who wants to like learn new technologies, I am creating a full playlist on HTML currently and my plan is to create a complete web development playlist which will include many other like text tech like HTML, CSS, React, JS, JavaScript and all. So make sure to check these playlists so that it will be helpful for your learning. Let's see the first thing now what things that we are going to cover in today's video. First of all, we will be seeing the current play of trends in IT. Then we will be seeing the impact on TCS hiring and NQT results, TCS NQT results declaration timeline, offer letters and next step portal status, upgradation candidates update on campus versus off campus trends, document verification to offer letter gap and then final thoughts on the offer letters and onboarding. There are some minute, minute details and examples of the candidates that I will be giving you in this video so that you can relate and you can understand what will be the upcoming scenario so starting with the current layoff trends in IT so first of all guys TCS, IBM, Intel, Microsoft have announced layoffs all these companies are officially now laying off candidates okay previously layoff hit the product based companies only uh, where you know initially Microsoft started their layoffs with 6000 candidates now it is shifting to service based also TCS has also announced to lay off 12000 plus employees and um, more layoffs are expected in the next six months because TCS has told that they will be reducing 2% of their workforce. Okay, even though they have mentioned that for now, it will be from mid to senior level roles, but it is high time that you should be uh, like, you know, targeting the offers from multiple companies and you should be good technically. Otherwise, there is high chance that you never know. You don't have any job security anywhere in today's market. Okay, talking about impact on TCS hiring and NQT. So hiring in service based companies like TCS is slowing down and you might already be aware of it because from long time many of you are like already waiting for your joinings and offer letters but there is no update from the company. Product based companies are seeing better placement ratios and Accenture didn't announce their like 2025 batch hiring till August which is very unusual previously Accenture used to hire a lot regularly every month but not, till now there is no update from Accenture. TCS fresher hiring count expected to drop significantly from last year. Like last year, they ha I had around uh, 40 to 50,000 candidates, but this year around 30,000 candidates only they are expecting to hire. Now talking about the TCS NQT timeline. So guys, the like first results were out on 14th of July and it was for Kolkata and Bhopal region. Kolkata had broader results. Bhopal only had a few colleges. Okay. And results released in phases and not at not all at once okay and this is very usual like most of these companies like uh, if you take TCS, Cognizant or Wipro all of them have, like declare their results in phases only so it can be possible that one of your friends might have already received their results and you are still waiting so there is no need to worry in that you just have to keep checking your next step portal if the status is showing bashed or anything which means you are still in the process and you don't have to worry about anything. Now, some colleges are still yet to receive the final selection rest. Okay, so that is why I am saying that uh, some of the regions get a higher like results rate other than the other ones. Okay, talking about offer letter delays and portal status. So, next step portal was down from 21st of July till around approximately 10 days which has resulted in more result delays and from 1st of, result, uh, 1st of August the results are started but again we have already seen that it is very slow, the results are not getting rolled out very frequently and upgradation candidates are getting a priority for the results this time and some candidates got offer letters 15 to 20 days after their document verification. So, this is very important guys. So, whenever the document verification happens, right now what is going in the trend is that after 15 to 20 days, you will be getting your offer letters. Upgradation candidates are getting priority like candidates from uh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, uh, Andhra Pradesh with upgradation results are receiving their emails and Bangalore and Tamil Nadu general results not yet confirmed. TCS seems to prioritize sending revised offer letters to upgradation candidates. Okay, So, that is why I am saying as of now, the major trend is that upgradation candidates are getting priority and the normal candidates are still waiting for their results. 
not talking about on campus versus off campus trend so previously when we observed that uh, it was equal equal but now we have seen that on campus results are more frequently declared whereas off campus candidates see very slow response or they are still waiting and from 1st august only four confirmed off campus results versus five to six college tpo list on campus are declared so you can clearly understand that you know uh, how the like uh, on campus versus off campus results are ongoing so faster offer letters which means good news okay so let's talk about the previous years and then compare that with this year so compared to 2023 2025 batch is receiving offer letters faster after their document verification i told you right after 15 to 20 days of document verification candidates are getting uh, like you know their offer letters so there is one example of a candidate they got their document verification mail of 14 to 20 of first of july in that week and then they received the offer letters within 15 to 20 days like by the end of this uh, july they got their offer letters and last year this thing was and this gap was stretched to th three to four months like after document verification was done there was no response and after three to four months candidates used to get their like you know this offer letters so that is why i always say that there is no fixed duration or timeline you can like you know assume that you know if someone has got their like you know offer letter after document verification within 15 days so i will also get the same and people our candidates panic a lot because of this because they try to compare others timeline with theirs okay it can be totally different sometimes even this happens that after offer letters for some it can take months and months to get the joining but for others it can take only few days so that is why uh, this timeline is totally normal so is onboarding secure or not because you might also have this doubt because you know so many layoffs and so many things are ongoing so guys till now no onboarding use news has came and last year onboarding started early august this year portal only went live in august right you have already seen portal was itself down because of this the delays are more and um, one point of advice is that do not wait for just tcs keep applying to other companies i am always and regularly saying this because you never know your joinings can even extend till one year because the process itself can take time okay like for generation of offer letter it can take months and after that uh, also it can take few more months so you don't know it can take six months eight months or one year so don't wait for just tcs many other companies are hiring cognizant was like till last month cognizant was hiring and again it is expected to hire wipro is hiring through its elite drive so make sure to apply for all of those i am regularly posting off campus drives also on my channel on daily basis so check those videos and apply for them also so till december golden time for off campus openings are there many companies are regularly posting and uh, like you know conducting off campus drives so it is very good chance for you because you know there will be a time it will also come in few months that off campus drives will also stop and at that time if you want to apply also then you will feel that okay there is no off campus drives only in the market how should i apply so that is why i am saying that regularly check those videos which i am uploading and wherever you feel that you know you are eligible at least apply okay it doesn't matter if you will join or not that is a later point of time but at least apply and just try to be in the process or try to you know appear for the examinations and so on so guys before we close the video some final thoughts is that on campus results are quite faster that we have noticed as of now than on off campus upgradation candidates are getting prioritized and offer letters are rolling out slowly but more quickly than the last year okay at least this is a good news that last year was far far slower than this one okay and you have to set a target that you have to find a job by december 2021 so don't depend solely on tcs if you are getting a better opportunity from other companies like capgemini or tc uh, like wipro or cognizant or any other mnc then you should definitely give that a priority and join that because you don't have to sit idle for long right because as soon as you join the company your experience is start counting now if someone who is joining any other company at this point of time and someone who is joining like you know tcs after a wait of eight months or 12 months at the by the time the candidate who is joining tcs they will be a fresher but by that time the candidate who has joined like before 12 months will already have one year of experience right and in it experience matters a lot after two or three years when you have to switch your experience will come very handy so that's why i'm saying you have to set your target by for yourself so guys i have tried to discuss almost all the hiring updates that i had in this video if you have any more doubts you can ask me in the comment section Make sure to join me on Telegram and follow me on Instagram as well. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Because you will get a lot of helpful videos from this channel. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time.